What's going on guys and welcome back to Getaway Gaming. Today, as you saw from the title, we have another Super Ninja Commando test, aka Skylander character review. And today we have Master Buckshot. And as you also saw from the title, we have the first giveaway on the channel at the end of the month. So make sure you stay till the end of the video to learn how to enter and have the chance to get Master Buckshot in box. But first, let's get into his review and see how good he actually is. I'm um, personally... Haven't been a fan. I think he doesn't do enough damage, but I'm keeping an open mind here. And I want to like him. So let's get into the gameplay. All right, so here we are in Skylanders Imaginaries to test our Buckshot. But I'm not going to test this one because this one's brand new. I've put it on the portal, but haven't done anything with it. It's level one, no upgrades. But we are going to put this one in. This in. So we can actually hear what's happening. Oh, I don't want the echo. Let's not do that. There we go. Sorry if there was an echo right there with the gameplay for a second. All right, so let's take a look at Buckshot. Okay, I really like his personality. I really do. He's a really fun character. Uh, main move. I think it's weak. I think. We'll see. But you shoot lots of arrows at once. Like, they go all in front of you. It's fantastic. It's his other two moves that I just don't use and don't understand very well. But here you get a, a goat portal. Uh, it's like a worse, ver worse version of, uh, Wolfgang's speakers. Also, sorry if you hear a tractor in the background. Um, then we have this boomerang thing that pulls enemies closer and then explodes. It does pretty good damage, like 70 damage when it explodes or something like that. Um, but other than that, I think he gets just about the same moves. I don't have this move. Interesting. Portals sometimes shoot ram or sheep projectiles on their own. Hmm, Interesting. I don't think it's going to really affect the gameplay too much, so I'm not too worried about it. But if we can get it during this, we'll get it. Um, I went the top path. The bottom path just didn't look as good. There's just more portals and stuff like that. Um, this one had to do with, like, your damage of your arrows. And obviously me loving ranged Skylanders. I wanted that. All right. So, also, his Sky Chi is amazing. So, I don't know where to go. Uh, I have it on medium difficulty just so we can give him a, fa a fair chance. So, I don't definitely don't want to go to the magic realm. In Mushroom River, we can do... Uh, literally, there's two levels that I'll play. There's Mushroom River, or there's uh, this one up here. Whatever. It's my favorite level in the whole game. And it has a... Uh, what are they called? Doom, Doom Landers in this game. All right. All right, so we're going to go up here, grab this gold first, and then we're going to head down to Shelmont Shores. That's what it's called. I forgot. I need to replay this game. I haven't replayed it, like, any of the Sensei rooms in so long. Shelmont Shores. Let's go. My favorite level ever. But let's go. All right, also, lemonade, fire. Homemade lemonade, fantastic. Can unbeaten. This is store-bought lemonade. It's all right. It's really sugary. Okay, nobody cares about the cutscene. A big... Jetpack, you're the worst. Alright, so he shoots arrows really fast. I saw the one did 30, and the other did like 7. So like his basic arrows do like 7 damage, so it's super disappointing. And then, let's flip this thing around, usually I'll go the other way. But we're gonna, we are going to try to shoot this dude right here. See how much damage you do. Oh, can't see it. All right, so then we got this. 44 damage. Oh, and it comes back to you. And then it explodes. Okay, you got this portal, and then when you come out of it, you shoot super fast. Wow. Okay. So 30 damage. I thought I saw it 7. What was I just hitting him with critical hit all the time? It's a Skylander. We'll see. I'm not sure. The key you need is right inside this room. I'm confused on why I, I'm enjoying him already. I tell you what, a, a, per, a good personality goes a long way in life and Skylanders. That was so cheesy. I'm cutting that out. Anyways, but seriously though, like if you have a like a solid fun funny personality, I'll probably like the character. And then we have the crappy one, like, like, uh, Whirlwind. I don't like the character. So I do want to try to use the boomerang a little bit more, because I didn't get a fair look, and I only shot it at 
clam or whatever the hell it was. All right, let's go over here, go through here. The thing doesn't damage you, so you might as well just go through it. Level 17, he's got low health, honestly. Not even 700 yet, so he probably ends up with like maybe 850. Wait, hold up, what did he just say? He just said get into my car? Sir. All right. I'm the worst at rail challenges, but I've done this one so many times, I shouldn't get damaged, right? I swear if I was gonna get damaged right there. All right, we're good. we got this. We're not gonna get damaged. This is the hardest part of the episode. Not really. Well, for me, I tend to screw up with the easy things and then do the hard things really easy. Like I beat SS SSA Chaos, no, no issue, but I was getting like destroyed by like the small enemies and I was like, what in the world has happened? Also, I know I did a Gilgrunt solo run in SSA, but that is not the last you've seen of Gilgrunt. Trust me, you are going to get that times like five. You better buckle up for the future video. Only a few people know about it. Sorry to take you away from this awesome character review, but now is the time in the video. My personal favorite time in the video once a week where I shout out all of my channel members. Yesterday's live stream, we hit 25 members, so thank you to all the members. Um, if you want to become a member, just head to my channel, hit the membership thing. You can see all the perks. They involve giveaways. So, pretty awesome. Plus, a lot more perks. Other than that, swipe it. Thank you guys very much. All right. So this is where I lost like three Skylanders in my SSA versus Imaginators lock. You're gonna use this. Let's see how the. Ooh, all right. Then it's gonna come back. It just comes back to me. I wanted to go towards the enemies. It just comes back to me. But that's super cool. It's like an Enigma kind of move. You go invisible, and you're able to hit like straight out of it. Okay, so 30, 11, and seven. Okay, which? Okay. I'm trying to figure out what does what. So he does like an average of 30 damage. Where's the 7 damage coming from? Like you see 11s pop up. Oh, I can stun them. You can st Okay, Sky Chi time. I love this Sky Chi. Look at this. So many portals, so many arrows. I love that. God, I'm loving him right now. I used to not like him at all. What the heck was wrong with me? New that portal thing, you just hit, you just go through the, sure you move slow when you're like in the invisible form, but like, you just hit an enemy and it stuns them. I've only gotten it to sit on that ledge like two times. Maybe. And I always try to get it to sit right here. Also, I usually try to jump out of there before the thing starts to move. Alright, so I really want to figure out this boomerang move some more. The goat portal one, I don't even use it for its actual purpose. I use it to build up speed. You know what? Screw it. Let's do this. Let's do this. You guys get to see this little cutscene without without noise. So just imagine some noise. Just a little... And then he says something. Because this is a cutscene and I have cutscenes muted because everything in this game is copyrighted if they even say a single word. Those are those that those little uh, shrines are some of my favorite things in the in the game. Wow, his main attack is actually pretty good. Um, I'm not sure how it would do on nightmare because I compare everybody to nightmare mode because it's mostly what I play on. Nightmare are hard. If I want to enjoy it by myself or complete, I'll do it on hard usually. But if I'm doing any type of lock or solo run, it's on nightmare. Okay, this is a big enemy area coming up, so I'm interested. Also, if you guys hadn't noticed already, I timed the giveaway with the buckshot, obviously. So you guys would be able to see him to see if you'd be interested. Because I figured you guys would want to see gameplay if, before you were interested in, in doing the Skyliner. So, so far he's pretty, pretty good. I don't know about you guys, but I think he's doing pretty good. I do not like that move. I think it does great damage. Like, 
it'll explode, but I have to stay towards the enemy for it to explode. Like, it follows me and not the enemies. Damn, I didn't think that was going to hit me. Okay, we're going to send that out. And we're going to try to move closer. See, you'd have to, like, get towards the enemy. It would be good versus melee enemies. But, like, ranged enemies that don't, like, come close. Ooh, here we go. We're going to go ham right here. Y'all don't stand a chance. He seems like he shoots so slow when he uh, gets out of the portals. Or, like, his portal boost speed or whatever. So we're going to do the stun thing again. I'm really impressed. He also, he just took that shot like it was nothing. Alright, so it's going to hit him there. It's going to come back, hit him. Oh, it didn't hit him again, but it, bolt it exploded. I'm trying to figure out how much damage the blue arrow does. Oh, 54, and it always crits. That's nice. Okay, so you always do crit. Technically, you always do crit. Okay, we're going to get far away and just unleash. Oh, no. Oh, no. Run. Run, Buck. He's not very fast. I will t say that. He's pretty slow. I keep shooting into the portal. I don't... Oh... We got this. Easy money. I know I'm on medium difficulty, but still, those guys are not the easiest to defeat. Especially if you're a close range guy. Like Alright, we get more stuff. I'm missing quite a few sets, honestly. Also, I need to do my every game ranked, and trust me, Skyliners Imaginators soared to the top. Not top top. Swap Force is still the top. Don't. Swap Force was second to last the last time. Now move quickly before uh, out. The level up balls over here, I think. Also, if you guys don't know, you go outside right here after you press those buttons and the timer shuts off. So you ain't gotta feel rushed. There we go. We might, uh, yeah, we might max out. See, look, there's no more timer and the stairs stay. So in case you guys didn't know that, you can do that. Also, there is a diamond or a like soul gem over here usually. Well, I mean, it's usually a soul gem, I think, but. Then it changes into a diamond. I don't know. We'll, we'll get up there eventually. Long pause. I don't remember there being this many steps. I thought I was going to get shot. Oh! That one's going to go. Come on. I remember when I first played this, I was like, oh, like, I have plenty of time, and then I just got shocked, like, nine times. <laughs> Alright, I'm pretty impressed so far. I don't care for this move. It, like, it didn't even hit anybody right there. But we are going to do this goat portal thing. Stun all of them. Come out. That is amazing. That combo together of coming out, of, of using the invis invisibility move to um, stun them. And then come out of the portal and be able to shoot like two times as fast when they're stunned. Wow. Troll radio. Okay, okay. We got caught up on our controller. Um, chill Bill or Broccoli Guy? That's that's the that's the debate right now. Comment. Chill Bill or Broccoli Guy? I, I go with a Broccoli guy. I like Broccoli guy better. Especially with Skylanders Academy, he won me over. Damn, I missed one. I never miss one on... Okay, no, now I'm not even going to try. I was like, I missed out on so many, there's no point. I was talking about our Lord and Savior, Broccoli guy. No, but Broccoli guy in Skylanders Academy is probably one of the funniest characters in the entire show. I don't find Chaos funny in that show. I find him entertaining. Also, I like Skylanders Academy. I've watched it. I don't even know how many times now. I watched it with Elizabeth as well. Alright. That's here. me. And then we also have a gong up here. So we can uh, also yes. play the... Up. Oh, yep. The yep. Maybe not. Now. We got... Oh, Alright. I hope we level up. It would be nice to be able to get to level 20, but I don't think. Unless the... What is it? Doom Lander? Gives us uh, a lot of XP. Oh, we're going to get some from the gong battle, too. We should level up. We should max out by the time this ends. 
But we will see how he truly is. If we're bringing the XP from him. There it is. All right, here we go. So what we're first gonna do is head into the portal. They don't know where we're at. They don't know. They don't know who we are. Get rid of those range dudes first. I don't use the portals for actually shooting through. Eh, I can't get away from that dude. All right, so what we're gonna try to do is set up a few of these portals and then actually use them. So like, oh, okay, see we're shooting backwards but it's shooting through the other ones. Okay, it's just a worse version of Wolfgang's speakers. Wolfgang speakers, you can set them up straightforward and do massive damage. All right. Oh, he can't suck. Never mind. Not even gonna continue that sentence. But he can't bring you in while you're in your invisibility mode. Okay, so you're probably asking, how do I enter the giveaway? How do I win this awesome inbox buckshot? I'm gonna tell you how, right now. Okay, simply all you have to do is comment on this video. Yes, this video right here. Just put Skylanders is the best in the comments. You can just comment once. You can only enter once unless you're a member. You get to, you know, that's one of the perks. But anyways, just comment once. Say Skylanders is the best. You'll be added to a wheel. The wheel will be presented and shown in a live stream at the end of this month. What is it? August now? So the end of August of 2022. So if you're watching this a year from now, sorry, you missed out. Other than that, just say Skylanders is the best in one comment. Please don't comment a gazillion times, but I'll have to sit through them all fine but then you'll be entered and then at the uh, at the end of the month of a live stream i'll set it to premiere in like a week so you guys have like two weeks to prepare for it uh make sure you show up because i mean if the winner is chosen and you're not there and you don't rewatch it then i gotta do it all over again but because like i have no way to reach out to you guys but other ways other ways anyways that's all comment skylines is the best you get entered and then make sure you show up to the live stream at the end of the month that's all i got Simple as that. That's how these are going to go as long as it goes smoothly. Other than that, good luck. All right, so he just destroyed that whole thing and almost leveled up again. So we are definitely going to max out. There's another XP ball up here, and that should level us up to 20 by the time we have to go face the Swashbuckler Doomlander. So if you guys haven't been won over by Buckshot already and not want him, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, not everybody has to enter the giveaway, but if you want him... He's there. You just crossed the boat, baby. I don't know. Maybe I already entered, or maybe I already put the clip of me saying how to enter into the video. Probably. I don't know. I don't know when I was going to put it. I still don't know because this is in the past, and that version of Victor is in the future. Let's use one of these. Can I use another one? Ooh! No! It explodes on command. I shoot another one and then it... Oh, I'm going to do that. That's so much better. All right, let's take out this guy and you. And then I'm going to shoot you. But I want it to explode while it's out there. It's strategic, but it's useful. Hold on. You. Okay, hit you. Hit him again. That's great. Oh, my gosh. That's brilliant. Level 20 maxed out. 720 health? Holy. Ugh. That's like half of a trap master. You're supposed to be up. Oh, I didn't make it. I didn't make it again. Don't worry, guys. Get there eventually. Hello. Oh, also, I think I have enough for the next upgrade. Let's get that. Let's go. We can max fully max him out. All right, so now our portals will shoot ram or sheep projectiles. It says sometimes. So does that just mean like once, like when it's there? Or is it just like you create three portals and one of them does it? I don't really need this, but we're just going to test this out. Oh, there we go. Oh, so I think the better wording would be they occasionally shoot sheep and ram. Not sometimes. Because sometimes is leaving the impression that, like, 
The portals might or they might not, but they always do. It's just occasional. Oh, you don't know where I'm at, punk? Huh? What? Oh, shoot. Wow, they do 57 damage! Oh my goodness. Look at her health. This is incredible. He's actually pretty good. Yeah, his main attack isn't the most damaging main attack. He doesn't do a thousand damage like Grave Clobber, but who does? Oh, she still knows where I'm at. Okay, that doesn't work. She still know, very much knows where I'm at when I use that move. She doesn't when I'm here, though. Oh, I just stunned her. Do you see the stun thing pop up on her? Hold on, wait. Oh. The sheep are doing all the work right now. I'm so glad I got that upgrade now. I mean, you can do all you want. Oh my gosh. Buckshot, you are pretty cool. Oh my gosh, she's dead. She's dead. She's done. She's done. Oh my god. That was fantastic. Yes, I'm on medium difficulty, and it's easier. But, from a character standpoint, all of his moves came in pretty useful once I learned how to use them. Okay, whatever. Ow. All right. We're going to head back to the MAP, and then I'm going to cut away back to me, and then I'm going to rate Buckshot, and then talk probably a little bit more about the giveaway. Let's open these things up real quick. Do we get anything? We got a baby bottle. We got some saw gauntlets that I've had forever, and some headgear. All right. Other than that, I'm going to head back, just cut away to my face, and we're going to talk about Buckshot. So now it is time to review our friend Buckshot. Now, Buckshot was very good. He is super fun. I think that's like all of his kit makes for a fun Skylander. He is just loads of fun. Sure, his one move is what holds him back from being perfect. It's that uh, boomerang move. It's not even a boomerang, but it acts like a boomerang, I guess. But like to have it stay out there. I have to then shoot another one for it to explode, which is tactical, yes, but it's out of the way and not exactly how it's meant to be used. It's meant to bring them back and then explode them, but I don't like that because it just retreats back to me missing everyone when it explodes and then the damage, th there's no damage to anyone unless any someone's near me. So it's very rare that that was to happen. So overall, I give Buckshot pff, high eight, low, I, it's a, a nine out of 10, on, honestly. He's, he's just so much fun, and he's pretty good, too. He doesn't do the most damage, but he, he makes up for it with, like, how tactical his moves are. His goat portals allow for him to move really, really fast, become invisible, stun enemies, and those are three great things when you don't do massive damage. You can't, like, with Grave Clobber, he's slow for a reason. They, if they made Grave Clobber fast, it would just be the most overpowered thing of all time. But instead, you make them weaker Skylanders, like a Buckshot, who isn't even that weak, but he's just average damage. You just make him travel really fast, and then he becomes elite because it's the damage over time. So overall, Buckshot, 9 out of 10. I thoroughly enjoy Buckshot, and I advise you guys to go get him. But luckily, you ain't got to buy him. Well, one person in, in particular is going to win this Buckshot. So don't forget to enter the giveaway. I probably already put the how-to in this video somewhere. I don't know, but make sure you do it. Um, and good luck with winning. I mean, that's that's really all I got for you guys. Yeah, Buckshot, nine out of 10. I'm, I'm kind of shocked I enjoyed him this much. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. As you guys can see behind me, I have almost every Skylander, well, a version of every Skylander ever created. I am missing, as of right now recording, I think seven. So, other than that, if there's a Skylander you would like me to review from any of the Skylander games, let me know. I would love to do so. These are some of my favorite videos to make. Other than that, you see this bo these boxes next to me? A lot of duplicates. 
Also, you know what, while I'm here, I'm gonna grab my duplicate box and just give you a quick look at what will be for future giveaways. All right, so we have this Nike shoe box full of duplicates. Hold on. So if you see anything you like in here, keep an eye out. Other than that, I do have, I think, five Skylanders in here or six that are dead. They don't work anymore. I had someone send me, I think, four or five that didn't work for customs, but I'm no good at painting. And I know a lot of you guys like to make custom Skylanders. So I'll probably end up doing two different giveaways like with dead, with these dead Skylanders so you guys can do uh, customs with them. I know I have like a Scarlet Ninjini in there. I have like a Zook and I have a Light Cory Ruptor and stuff like that. They just don't register anymore into the game, but you guys can feel free to do uh, uh, customs with them. So look out for those in the future. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. Good luck in the giveaway and I will see you guys soon.